Hi friend, it's Misha. Welcome to one of our mini episodes where I share a story with you that has nothing to do with your life, but in a fun way helps you think about your life. I believe when we can look at our life in an abstract way, it can help open up insights about ourselves that we have never seen before. Let's jump in. Today's story is called Deer Tail Hooves. A man named Bill Andrew was a big, awkward, and kind of homely guy. He dressed in big fitting clothes, and there were guys where he worked that thought it was fun to make fun of him. One day, his fellow workers noticed a small tear in his shirt, and he gave it a small rip, and another worker in the factory did the same thing, until the shirt was like a ribbon dangling. Bill went on about his work, and as he passed too near a moving belt, the shirt strip was sucked into the machinery. In a split second, the sleeve and Bill were in trouble. Alarms were sounded, switches pulled, and trouble was avoided. The foreman, however, aware of what had happened, pulled the men together and told them of a story that happened to him when he was younger. He had worked in a small factory with a man named Mike Travis, who loved to play jokes on others. He especially liked to torment Jake, who was a little older than the rest of them and stayed apart from them. He ate lunch by himself, and he wore the same patched trousers for three years straight. He was different. The men, along with Mike, delighted in putting a live frog in Jake's dinner pail or a dead mouse in his hat. But he always took it in good humor. One day in the fall, Mike and Peter went hunting and promised that if they got anything, they would bring each of us a piece. All of us in the factory were quite excited when they heard Mike and Peter got a big buck. They also heard that they had a good joke to play on Jake. Mike had cut a nice piece of deer meat for everyone in the factory, but they had saved the ears, the tail, and the hooves for Jake. They thought it would be so funny when Jake opened the package. The next day, Mike handed out the packages during the noon hour, and everyone opened theirs and thanked him. Now it was time to give Jake his package. They pushed it over to where Jake could reach it. They all waited. Jake was never one to say much. In his three years on the job, he never said a hundred words. So everyone was quite hypnotized by what happened next. He took the package and slowly rose to his feet. He smiled broadly at Mike and with a chin quivering, swallowed to get control of his emotions. Then he said, I knew you'd come through. You're big and you're playful. But I knew all along that you had a good heart. He swallowed again and then went on. I know I haven't been too chummy with you men, but I never meant to be rude. You see, I've got nine kids at home and a wife that's been an invalid, bedridden, now for four years. She ain't never going to get any better. And sometimes I have to sit up all night to take care of her. Most of my wages go for doctors and medicine. The kids do all they can to take care of her. At times, it's been hard to keep food in their mouths. Maybe you think it's funny that I eat by myself. Well, I guess I've been a little ashamed because I don't always have something between my sandwich. Or like today, maybe there's only a raw turnip in my dinner bucket but I want you to know that this meat really means a lot to me. For tonight, my kids will have a real, and he tugged at the string. Mike and Pete both tried to grab the package, but it was too late. Jake had already seen what it contained. It should have been funny, but no one laughed. The hardest part came when Jake looked up and tried to smile. Oh, I know that I always leave you to ponder the stories and figure them out. This one I can't leave without just saying, we really don't know what the people around us are going through. We really have no idea what challenges they're up against, the things that they're experiencing in their lives. And especially on the heels of our episode where we really focused on the teenagers 
I just wanted to remind you that our hearts need to be wide open for the people around us. Wide open. All right, I hope you're looking for the lessons from these stories that make you think. If there's any questions or insights you have, don't forget to reach out. I would love to hear from you. You can DM me on Instagram at my friend Misha. I'm here for you. I'm here for you to help you take a little bit of time for a mindset check that will alter your days and by so doing, alter your life. I'm here to remind you that in your life, you have more power than you think you do by breaking it down and walking through it with you. And I'm here to help you feel encouragement radiating from your body to live the amazing life that's in front of you. Keep on keeping, my friends. And if you're still listening, then I have a treat for you. Here's some bloopers from the episode. Today's story is called Deer Tail Hooves. <laughs> Today's story is called... <laughs> Today's story is called Deer Tail Hooves. Hooves. Hoofs. Hooves. Hoofs. Hooves. hooves. <laughs>